Hello, it's Markham Torch Chief from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to be showing you an overview of the garment tool. Now, in this video, the first bit's just going to be creating this band that goes around the waist, just so you can get all the concepts going, and then we'll develop and create something a little bit more complex. So, first things first, I'm going to add in a bezier circle, so Shift A, Curve, Circle. Straight away, what we're going to do is come over into the bezier settings, change it to 2D, and change the fill mode to both. So now we've got this. I'm going to press Tab to go into edit mode now, and I'm going to press V to bring up our handle types and change it to a vector. From here, I'm gonna rotate with R on the Z axis, 45 degrees, just so it's kind of sitting like that. Now, because it's a 2D plane, I can't actually move it up and down. It'll only go along the X and the Y axis. So let's go tab into object mode. I'm just gonna go into side view. Let's bring it up, rotate 90 degrees. Let's scale that in. From here, numpad one, let's scale it on the X axis. There we go, that's looking good. I'm just gonna bring it a little bit closer. And then I'm gonna shift D to duplicate that and press Y so it goes along the Y axis. So here we are. Now I'm just gonna add it to pretty close to the body. From here, once you've installed, I'm gonna press N to bring up our side panel and press our garment tool. From here, what I'm gonna do is press create garment. Now we need to join these two pieces together. So I'm gonna click edit sewing and I'm gonna left click on this first one and you can see we can pick what we're gonna sew. I'm gonna select this edge. I'm gonna select the back side, and then we're gonna select that edge. So these two edges are gonna sew. We need to do obviously the other side. There we go. And to finish, we're gonna press enter. From here, I'm just gonna increase the resolution probably up to about 50. I don't want triangles, I want quads because we're in Blender and quads are quads. And now I'm gonna click generate mesh. Now what I'm just gonna do is press play and we can see that it just falls to the ground. So we need to do a little bit more work. I'm gonna come up here to the top. I'm gonna to expand cloth. And what I wanna do is I kind of wanna bend around the body a little bit just to make life a little bit easier. So I can on both uh, this one. So if I come back in and select a bezier circle, we can see which one it's selecting. So I'm gonna pick this one and obviously the other one's gonna be the other one. From here, we can click generate mesh again and it creates that kind of circle. However, it seems to be a little bit too intense. So let's go to the modifiers, increase, increase. I don't want 180 degrees. Let's maybe go 90 and also the other one will go 90 degrees. Now, if I press simulate, still drops to the ground. Why is that? Well, because we haven't put a collision on this. So let's select our body, come over into the physics panel. Let's press collision. And what I'm gonna do is change the outer thickness to maybe 0.002 and dampening. I'm gonna bring that up to one. Friction is fine. So if we bring that back, we can see now that it kind of sticks there, which is exactly what we want. But we want that force to bring it uh, together a little bit stronger. So let's go back and select this. In our cloth settings, let's come all the way down to collisions. Collision distance, we're gonna change that to 0.002 as well, just so it fits more tightly around the body. And then we're gonna increase shape and the maximum sewing force. I'm gonna bump that up to 10. Now let's go back to frame one and press play. And we can see that it's a lot better. I think maybe what we might do is maybe 90 degrees was a little bit too low. So let's bring it up to maybe 130 and 130. There we go. So now let's have a look what happens. Still falls to the ground. So what it could be is these pieces are a little bit too big. So let's maybe select all scale on the X axis or what wraps around a little bit better. And I'm just gonna press back to the start and press play. There we go, look at that. It is now straight on there. So now we've kind of got the basics. Obviously, if you're happy with that, we can go finalize cloth and it kind of semi links everything together. Let's now delete our bending, which I think was the first cloth and we delete that one and here we go. So this no longer has a cloth modifier, nothing on it. This is now the band sitting there. Well, that's cool. How about we do something a little bit more complicated? I have now started a brand new file and re-imported my character. And once again, we're gonna shift A, we're gonna add in a curve, we're gonna add in a circle. From here, come over to the Bezier settings, 2D, and let's fill mode go to both. Tab to go into edit mode, I'm gonna select everything, press V to change our handle type, and I'm just gonna make it vector because I find that it's a lot easier. So let's press V. I'm gonna press R to rotate on the Z axis by pressing Z and type 45, so it's 45 degrees. Let's come to side view, tab to go back into object mode, and let's go G to the Z. Let's rotate that by 90 degrees. So from here, I'm gonna select this, let's scale that in. And there's some really cool features here. So what I'm gonna do is make kind of like, I want a front piece here. There's gonna be a side piece here. And then there's gonna be like this upper piece here that goes over the shoulders. So let's grab these, let's go G to the Z. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer so it's sitting like that. Let's bring up N to bring up the side panel, garment. 
Let's go tab to into object mode, create garment. Here we go. Now you can see that I've done this off center. What I can do is select symmetry. And now I go tab into edit mode and you can see that we've gone off the origin and you can see that now it's equal sides. Beautiful. We're going to use that to our advantage. I'm going to press tab to go into object mode. Let's shift D to duplicate. Let's go tab to go into object mode and oh gee, that's a little bit too fast. I might just select both of them real quick, bring them back, select just the one. And what we'll do is kind of go like that, rotate 90 degrees, put it in there under the armpit. What we might do is select this handle, press V, and I kind of want to make it automatic. So let's go G, Z, and now it's kind of created this curve. Let's go G to the Y, and we'll just put it in place like so. What I can do here is flip it onto the other side. So we're going to flip the pattern, bam. So now it's over on this side as well. So now we can see our stitching will be this line to this line, and then we'll make one to here. So let's maybe duplicate this mesh. Shift D, G, Y, whoops, X, Y, sorry, there we go. And so we know that we've now got our four pieces all the way around. However, let's do something up here now. With the back piece, I'm gonna go Shift D, Z. Let's go into edit mode, scale, scale on the Z axis. And I wanna add some extra geometry on the top here so that we've kind of got this empty section here. And then we've got a sewing area over here. So let's select these three. I'm going to right click and subdivide. There we go. I'm going to select the center point V, automatic, G, and we'll just move that down. There we go. How cool is that? Very simple, very straightforward. G to the Z. All right. From here, I'm going to shift D, duplicate that. Let's bring that on the other side. And I'm going to make this come a little bit further down. Let's maybe get both of these. And I'm going to grab both sides. And let's just go G, X. We might have to grab both of these. G, X, move to the side. Move these ones to a little bit too much. There you go. Now let's just have a look. To me, that looks pretty good. What we need to do, obviously, is select it. Symmetry, there we go, brings that across. Select that one, symmetry as well. All right, let's see how that goes. So the beauty is we can quickly create stuff and change it on the fly. So let's sew all these together, edit sewings. So let's go this to this, this to this, this one to, whoops, that one. So we can see that it's kind of going off the normals and it's the wrong way around. So I'm just gonna highlight it and press delete. And let's try that again. We can see it's wrong. So I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to roll up. There we go. And that kind of flips it around. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then let's just quickly go around the whole mesh. Oops, there we go. And then this one will come here. Delete that one. There we go. Have we done everything? Nope, we've missed one. And enter. There we go, we've created all our sewings, I hope so. From here, I'm just gonna set the resolution maybe up to 75, let's give it a bit more extra oomph. Uh, triangles, we're gonna say quads, generate mesh. Oh, okay, it's a little bit too high, so let's maybe go down to 50, generate mesh. And I'm just gonna press play without even doing anything. And of course, we haven't done anything. So from here, let's go back into the physics. We're gonna change the collision, we'll change that to 0 0.002, enter. Let's scroll up, quality steps. I'm gonna bump up to 20 because we want it to look nice. Selecting our character, we're gonna enable collision. Change the thickness outer to 0 0.002. Dampening, I'll bump it all the way up to one. Let's have a look what happens. And it falls through. <laughs> Let's get rid of all these just so we can see what we're actually doing. Uh, probably the next thing we could do is increase our springs or a spring, so it kind of like comes together a little bit faster. Let's go 20, come back to the start. There we go, look at that. Look how quickly we've now created a shirt. Obviously his, his guts appearing, so that's fine, <laughs> but we can change that. What I'm gonna do is maybe just scale that on the Z axis, G to the Z, bring it down like so. And then let's just do it again. I don't know about you, but that is freaking amazing. And you can even go and put more patterns in like this one as well. 
So this is the Garmin tool. Uh, there is a link in the description. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content. If there are any other add-ons that you would like me to review, please let me know in the comments.